turn it off? Yeah. I'm taking a video. Thank you. What's up, everybody? My microphone's so far away from my face. What's up, everybody? My name is Spencer, and this is American Electrician. And on today's video, we're gonna be looking at how I maintain my hand tools, just a few tips and tricks that I use to keep my stuff clean and to keep it loose. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome. On American Electrician, we do electrical how-tos, gear reviews, and other sorts of stuff. If you want to know more, check out the channel. Go ahead and subscribe if it's something you're interested in. But for now, let's get started. This is not exactly a video to get rid of uh, rust. It is just to, uh, there's two parts of it. There's the handles and the, the actual pliers themselves being clean, uh, which is important for me because I can be in some sort of very nasty factory one day um, that is like, there's graphite everywhere. And then from then on out, like those gloves are garbage, pretty much. Um, and so with that comes your tools getting covered in it, um, which is fine, you know, you clean them off. But the next day I can be in a extremely nice office setting um, or in, in a very nice home. And so what I don't wanna do is have my new pair of gloves, touch my tools, touch a wall, boom. Uh, I have to go find a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser just to get the smudges off the walls. And that's an extra X amount of time that I could, I spent wasted. You know, it's basically gone for no reason whatsoever. And so uh, that is one reason why I keep my handles so clean uh, is because at times like that, I never know when they're gonna come, um, when that's gonna come up. Let me know what your process is for cleaning your tools. This is not the best setup, but this is what really works well for me. It's super easy, super manageable. It's quick, uh, but I would love to hear what you guys use for your tricks to get your tools clean. I always keep tub of towels. They are fantastic. They're super cheap too, um, and they work great for cleaning off the handles and so that is one thing. Um, I ordered these and I was like, might as well try them. And they're amazing. So super cool product there for cleaning the handles. Uh, I always keep a set of these in my truck um, and at home too, just in case. And that way, if I do run into that issue, um, even in the same day, I have time to clean off whatever I need. The second part of that is how easily they swing open and if they get stuck up here in the top stuff like that um, is basically you know how how easy is it for you to open them are they loose or are they super tight um, this is a bigger deal with your linemen's and your diagonal cutters my linemen and my diagonal cutters are pretty clean i've been using these two sets of pliers on a rooftop uh, for about a month now probably have another month to go and so these have been rained on they have all types of uh, debris and stuff on them, so we'll clean them off, and I'll show you guys that, but these are the two products that I use to, to loop them up. Um, the classic is the WD-40. It, it's WD-40. I mean, if you're here in America, then you know, um, but the one that I like to use even better is this Ballastol. It is like fantastic for anything. I mean, legitimately anything. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. You can use it for uh, guns, gun cleaner. You can use it for knives. You can use it for leather. You can use it for tools. You can, I mean, it's got a list. It's got a huge list. Lubricates, penetrates, protects, preserves. Firearms, leather, knives, tools, locks, marine. Eco-friendly skin safe. That's what I'm talking about. But this stuff is super cool. You can get it anywhere i know you can get it on amazon but this stuff is legit um it's like i hit i was using my linemans as a hammer because i'm an electrician and that's just what we do um and i was using them with the flat face and i actually hit inside the rivet and it started catching uh, and i was so upset i thought i had dented it for sure um and it was just kind of they were just kind of going to be garbage uh but i actually came home put some ballastol on them worked them out a little bit and they were good so shocked but definitely for uh, if you have clients 
those are the worst of that. Um, the Knipex come pretty open, but they can get rusted. They can get a little bit wet and get stuck. Um, you can get some debris and gunk in there. Ballastol is what I use. So we'll get to it, we'll take a look, and we'll get these bad boys all cleaned up. Boom! First of all, I love these pliers. Uh, both sets are amazing. Cutters on these are fantastic. I use them to cut all types of stuff. And these are also amazing. These are the installation pliers, uh, Knipex installation pliers, insulated. These are the Knipex. Um, they're double edged, double shears. I don't know what they're called, but you will find them if you look up shears for Knipex. They've got the two heads on them. They cut like butter. But today we're going to be cleaning off these handles. Um, and also greasing them up a little bit so they open and close better. Because these are these get stuck pretty bad right now just from water and wear. But First, we're going to use these Tubbo Towels, heavy duty cleaning wipes. These things are awesome. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I would love to be. Tubbo Towels, if you see this, hit me up. If not, it's okay. I'm still going to use them. Um, so, basically, you just get this big wipe. It smells like oranges, it's delicious. Um, and we'll start by cleaning these handles here and as you can see Like all that right there just kind of goes away as soon as the wipe hits it um, Really kind of changes things. It's not a big deal for everyone But in my line of work, it's very important to have clean tools and I like it more than anything It's something that I like Right now, it doesn't make a huge difference because neither of them are absolutely terrible, but when you go into a forge and spend a week in there and then pull your tools out, it is very, very bad. I just had to use one rag. Sometimes if they're really bad, it'll take off enough that you have to actually get another rag especially on power tools the rubber on those uh, handles and stuff really like to take in dirt then from here I grab a cardboard box um, usually with some paper in it I get like a thousand packages a day I'm pretty sure and so this is to help loosen them up, um, but usually I get that like this, get my ballastol, and I spray. And then from here, I really work it in. I open and close them, um, spray them some more. every angle and these are already starting to loosen up quite a bit from what they were at from being rained on after I feel like they're good and loose I do stick them in here and just kind of let it sit for a little while before cleaning them off same thing for this set Work it in a little bit, help keep them well maintained, pretty easy to open. And that is my whole process. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes you have to do more than two tools, and sometimes they're a lot worse off than what these two here were. So this is a pretty easy example, but an example nonetheless. So I appreciate it, you guys. Um, just a couple things that I do to help maintain my tools. 
All right, y'all, that wraps up the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys on the next one.